guys. Uh, happy Memorial Day weekend. Uh, I have some uh, barbecue ribs that I'm making this weekend, but uh, I thought that since I hadn't posted anything in a while on uh, my YouTube channel, that I'm going to show you guys how to, what to do with the uh, when you buy just the regular ribs. And what we're going to do is we're going to I'll show you how to trim these and to make a dish with the uh, spare rib trimmings or the rib tips. They, sometimes they call it. So. Uh, I'll pause the camera and we'll get started. And here are some a uh, few tips too before we get started on our video. Uh, uh, my townhouse is, has like a very small kitchen, but the the most important thing you can do is to organize your workspace. So as you can see here, I have a small uh, area here where I have a chopping board. And then uh, on the stove here, these are the ingredients we're going to use in the, uh, in the it's going to be a, a stir fry with uh, black beans. And these are all time saving tips, the garlic and the in, chopped garlic and the oil suspension that, that I showed you guys. And I always keep uh, a Ziploc bag with some scallions, which adds flavor. And this here is the salted black beans. You can see I keep them in a Ziploc bag and we're only going to use maybe a tablespoon of these and what you do is you'll rinse them with cold water uh, and then you'll mash them and they'll use them, the, the black beans and the garlic uh, to stir fry the, the ribs and then you'll add, uh, this came from my garden as you can see uh, I have a tomato factory also up here on the windowsill. So uh, and then over here it's important another tip for you guys, keep all your your basic seasonings in one area, like in this little cutty uh, space next to the range where my toaster is. I also have uh, cooking wine, the cucumber soy sauce, sesame oil, oyster sauce, thick soy sauce for coloring. I have some uh, partially used oil here and salt and pepper. And th those you can make so many dishes with just these basic seasonings. So. I'm going to pause and, uh, the camera and then we'll get started. Okay, I'll try and do this so you guys can see. I'm going to split this cryovac bag open. And take the ribs out. Now, this, when well, they sell ribs for like $1.99 a pound, uh, they give you all this extra, extra stuff with which a lot of people don't use or they'll just barbecue the whole rib but what we're going to do is we're going to trim it and you'll wind up with a, a rib stock which which they call a St. Louis style rib which is already trimmed but they charge a lot more for that. So when you separate it this is what, what the uh, St. Louis style rib looks like and that's what, what I'm going to use for my barbecue but then you have all this meat and the top bone right this if you you if you slow cook it for about an hour, it becomes tender. So we'll trim off the fat. And then we'll cut it. If it's wide like this, you can even cut this part in half. In maybe maybe three quarter inch chunks. And then this you see all this meat on this bone? This bone is very hard. Sometimes you don't want to mess with that. I just what I do is I boil that bone and give it to my poodle. And I leave some meat on there so he's happy for the holiday. Also. That's the, the, for Benji. Okay. There you have, there you have it. That's going to make a dish for like maybe, you know, for four people when I'm done with it. So next, next uh, step we can do, since this is all going together, we, we um, we won't wash the chopping board because this is going in with the uh, in with the pork anyway. 
I'm going to mince this uh, chili pepper up. This will give it some heat. In Cantonese, this is called si ju pai guai, which is like you're braising it. That'll go there on the corner. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold these uh, black beans tightly in my hand and I'm going to run cold water on. It rinses the salt off. They put salt in these beans as a preservative. And then I'll put them on a cutting board and I'll use the, the, bo the bottom butt of my knife and mash them. And now we're ready, we're ready to do the stir fry. So now you can see on the on the cutting board, I mean on that uh, plate that I have, I've mashed up those those the the black bean and the the minced chili pepper and the garlic, and that's going to be very fragrant when you when you heat up the oil and you uh, put that in the wok and then you stir fry the pork with that, and then we'll add some uh, wine and some water and reduce it to a low simmer. Stay tuned for that. Okay, now the wok's hot and we're ready to go. I'm going to put about uh, one and a half inch circle of oil in the, wok, in the wok. Swirl it around. You can see it's the when the oil's starting to smoke it's hot. Next, I'm going to put in a heaping teaspoon of the garlic, minced garlic, and slide my black bean. You got to be quick when you do this because you don't want to burn the garlic. When the garlic's lightly brown, you add in your pork. Remember those little tips I was showing you? The other, another little tip is I punch a hole in this wine, cooking wine. It's a plastic uh, lid, but then you can use it as a shaker. You can shake some white wine. Maybe a teaspoon of uh, pure sesame oil. Maybe two, two tablespoons of the thin soy sauce. And you can add, uh, later on we're going to add a little bit of salt and pepper and, and do the final seasoning on this dish. You can see, I'll zoom in on that. What we're going to do is we're going to add maybe a half a cup of water uh, to this and then we're going to, as it uh, comes back to a boil, we're going to turn it down to a simmer and simmer it for about uh, at least 45 minutes, an hour to an hour and 15 minutes is even better. And I'll show you the finished product. Well, uh, if, if the water boils away too much or simmers away too much, you can add a little bit of water to it. And uh, stay tuned for the final presentation.
and we'll, we'll thicken it up just a little bit with some cornstarch and garnish it with scallions. Okay, as you can see, I've removed the lid. This has been simmering for an hour now. And I increased the heat. I brought the heat up. And this time I actually uh, measured this uh, cornstarch slurry. It was a heaping tablespoon of corn, dry cornstarch and two level spoons of water mixed in here. So we're going to add that, that slowly. And you can see the last 10 minutes or so I added a, uh, a handful of green onions uh, into this dish. And then we're going to gar also garnish it with the green onions. So the barbecue ribs are for Memorial Day barbecue, American. Uh, since my dad was Chinese, I'm half and half. So, and this will be to, for the Chinese side. We'll add a few more green onions in there. See, I can you can stir fry with a with a tablespoon too. You don't need fancy equipment. There you have a nice dish that's um, braised spare rib tips with black bean and garlic. Hope you've enjoyed this lesson and all the little tips uh, on how to create an effective workspace and time saving workspace. Thanks for watching. God bless. Have a nice Memorial Day holiday and remember our troops, past and present.